Congratulations to the graduating class of DePaul University. You've done it. It's graduation day. You are the first class of the decade. After countless hours of studying, prepping for class. I congratulate you on your great success. We are so happy to have been part of your professional and educational lives. Life kind of threw you a curveball there at the end. Not kind of, it totally did. You worked very hard to come to this point. Your creativity, dedication, and resilience are an inspiration to all of us. Many of you have been working at your college degree for many, many years, uh, and you should be very proud of your accomplishments. You've prevailed. You've had lots of challenges, but you've made your dream come true. I wish we could all be together cheering and clapping and celebrating with you. But please know we are with you. We adore and respect all that you've taken on. I know I speak on behalf of the faculty when I tell you how much better you've made our lives over the last few years, and especially over the last couple of months. You all came from literally all over. You are extraordinary artists. I'm floored every day by the talent that I see in all of you. And I am sad to see you go, but so excited to think about the change that you're going to create in this world. I know that you will go on and do amazing things. We're not just training you for jobs, and we certainly hope we're doing that, but we are Moreover, training you for your life's work. I wish you nothing but the best as you start this next chapter in your life. And I believe you will make the world a much better place. Congratulations, class of 2020. From all of us here, from the bottom of our hearts, congratulations on all that you've accomplished. We tip our hat to all of your efforts and wish you the best in all of your endeavors. The world is yours for the taking, so dream big and go chase your dreams. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. We proudly present DePaul University's 121st Commencement Ceremonies. Members of the faculty, staff, administration, honored guests, and of course our graduates, I'm Salma Ganim, Interim Provost for DePaul University. Welcome to our 121st commencement, DePaul's very first online ceremony. We very much wish we could all be together right now, and we plan to do so to celebrate together as soon as it's safe. Until then, we celebrate today in this online space because the DePaul community would never pass up an opportunity to applaud you, the class of 2020, and your many accomplishments. Commencement is one of the most meaningful ceremonies of a student's academic career, and a DePaul commencement is anything but ordinary. As a Catholic Vincentian University, we share a commitment to uphold the dignity of every single person. And we call that Vincentian personalism. Just like we do every year, each student will be recognized. We want to give every student their moment because that's the DePaul way. It's also why we encourage all the students family members and friends watching to stay until the end, especially because our ceremony will conclude with a special alumni guest, Joe Keery from the hit Netflix series, Stranger Things. Now we know that the class of 2020 faced many challenges this past quarter. In a matter of days, you had to pivot to all remote learning Many of you had to dash back home. Through it all, though, you demonstrated patience and understanding as your faculty transitioned to teach more than 4,000 classes remotely. Your world was turned upside down, but you persevered. But that's not surprising to us, because throughout your time at DePaul, you navigated obstacles and rose to the challenge. How? Well, throughout your time at DePaul, your class dedicated at least 
300,000 hours to academic internships. 2,559 of you are members of the Honor Society. 200 undergraduate students in the class of 2020 completed double majors. More than a thousand of you, or roughly about 17% of your graduating class, participated in study abroad programs. You danced more than 70 hours for Dimonthon, raising approximately $811,000 for Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. The theater school presented more than 300 productions, and the School of Music offered nearly 1,000 performances. Yeah, and yes, you also helped consume two million meals served on our Lincoln Park and Loop campuses, all during your time at DePaul. If you're watching today's ceremony, though, with a loved one, a friend, or a family member, turn to them now and say thank you. And if you're physically apart from many of the ones you love, take a moment and send them a message to express your gratitude. Don't ever forget all the people who helped you get to this moment in your academic career, including, of course, the faculty and staff who shared their talent and wisdom with you. Now, it is your responsibility to carry their teachings forward. On behalf of the entire DePaul community, Congratulations, we can't wait to see what you do next. Now it's my privilege to introduce Reverend Guillermo Camposano, Congregation of the Mission and Vice President of Mission and Ministry, who will deliver today's invocation. Followed by the national anthem sung by John Concepcion. For those who wish to do so, please join me in prayer. Loving God, today is graduation day, a passage, a completion, a new beginning. Today, we pray in thanksgiving for the Paul University's class of 2020. Our students, with the help of faculty, staff, family, and friends, had met the challenges and kept the faith to the commitments of their studies and their becoming the kind of people they want to and can be in our society. God, the graduation of this year happens in the context of the most challenging events of our generation. It is in the challenging moments that you refine us. The joy that our students are experiencing today cannot be stolen. We will do well to remember that nothing can steal our joy and our peace when they are a gift that comes from our inner self. Please, do not allow our many trials of today, as difficult as they may seem, to distract us from rejoicing and celebrating this meaningful moment in the lives of so many in our DePaul family. In this context, it can be tempting for us to forget to be joyful. Yet, it is in the challenging moments of life that you prove yourself close, friendly, faithful. You are always with us. Our joy today it's not derived from our comfort, but it is a joy that is happening despite our uncomfortableness, our distance, our inability to gather, to hug, and to say goodbye. Our joy comes from our belief that no matter what is happening, none of us is alone. We will continue to reach out and to support each other. Please, dear God, Continue to educate us all, especially our graduating students, and shape us more completely into the human beings we need to be to go through the fire together and to prevail as one human family. Good and loving God, please bless and guide our graduates 
as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us in our Vincentian classrooms allow them to truly be women and men for others. May what we have learned from them enable us to be the same. Please help our graduates use all that they have learned to serve others in true solidarity and kindness, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good and make our world a better place. Finally, God, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our Dipola community with these, our students, while they were here. Though they are living now, our campuses, we know that they will always be with us as part of the Dipole family. And we ask that the bonds that have been created here remain strong despite any distance. Bless and protect them and all those they love. Amen. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? I am honored to welcome our students, families, faculty, and staff to this rather remarkable commencement ceremony for the DePaul University School of Music. Graduates, from your first auditions to become part of the school, through the countless hours of study, practice, lessons, rehearsals, and performances, you have had this day in mind as your goal. And while the day may not look as we thought it might have, it does not diminish the great heights you have achieved. So much has been accomplished in the years you have been with us at the School of Music. You trained with our faculty, who are the best in the world, alongside your colleagues who are the most talented in music. Perhaps one of the greatest milestones we celebrated together was the unveiling of the Holzschneider Performance Center. This facility quickly became our new home for classes, rehearsals, practices, and performances, and every facet of our lives together. And just at the end of the winter quarter, we celebrated the opening of the Sasha and Eugene Jarvis Opera Hall. You were among the first to grace the halls of these new facilities, and I saw how much you enjoyed working in them. And I can imagine how much you will miss them. In recent months, you made the most of a very challenging time. 
and your ability to do so has spoken volumes of your character. Please know that I have never been more proud of each of you than I am right now. You are about to embark on a path forward that may not look as clear today as it once did, but you are prepared. We have given you the tools to be an engaged and thoughtful citizen of the world, one who understands and informs the world through your art. You are empowered to transform yourself, those around you, and indeed the entire world with your talents. Don't ever lose sight of what brought you here, your desire to express, to connect, to create. If you manage that, you will always revel in the ideas of pursuing something that is greater than yourself. It has been our honor to share this day and every day with you at the School of Music. The world needs you now more than ever. Know that you can and will make a difference. We all believe in your ability to do so. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker for today's ceremony, Rebecca Higgel. Rebecca is graduating with a double major in French horn performance and music education. Throughout her time at DePaul, she has been a peer mentor, a Chicago quarter mentor, secretary and vice president of DePaul's NAFME chapter, and a music admission officer representative. As she graduates, Rebecca hopes to be a director of a collegiate level band or orchestra. Thank you, Rebecca. Sitting here today alone in my room seems wrong. I should be surrounded by friends and family, eating way too much sheet cake with frosting that's way too sweet, and saying goodbye to the wonderful people with whom I've spent my college career. We have worked incredibly hard for the last four years, and this ceremony marks the culmination of our collegiate achievements. The class of 2020 has major historical bookends. Many of us started in the fall of 2016, and two months later, the Cubs won the World Series. And I'd say that's a pretty good way to start off your time living in Chicago. Over the next few years, we took classes, sat through rehearsals, completed internships, and put together recitals. And now here we are walking across the figurative stage at our graduation in an unprecedented time of turmoil. Everyone always told me that college would be a whirlwind and that it would be over before I knew it. And they were right. Our college career ended sooner than we all expected. Even though we've all complained about different aspects of school, I think all of us are wishing that we were together on campus, waking up early, sitting through three hour rehearsals and celebrating our long awaited graduation. While this is not the way any of us pictured our DePaul career ending, I want to encourage everyone by reminding you all that we are prepared to go into the world and we are prepared to make a difference. The world that we are about to enter is different than the world we planned to enter. Your job applications, internships, and further educational plans may not be playing out the way that you expected. But the COVID-19 crisis has shown us something that, as a music educator, I find very important. In this crisis, people are turning to music. Right now, a song can change the world. Singing can change the world. Music can change the world. And in these times of complete isolation and separation, we are the ones who are trained in the arts, and that is what can bring the world together right now. In his poem, Earth Song, Frank T. Kelly wrote, This dark, stormy hour, the wind, it stirs. The scorched earth cries out in vain. 
O war and power you blind and blur, the torn heart cries out in pain. But music and singing have been my refuge, and music and singing shall be my light. A light of song, shining strong, alleluia, through darkness and pain and strife, I'll sing, be, live, see, peace. We are graduating into a world where everything is different, but we're prepared. I don't mean that we're prepared for a job, a career, or our next degree, though I hope everyone is prepared for those things. But I mean we are prepared to enter this world as representatives of the kind of good that we need right now. As we leave DePaul, there's one question in our minds. What must be done? So here's my answer. We must constantly try to make this world a better place. And we picked a career with the ability to do just that. Class of 2020, there's no doubt in my mind that we can change the world for the better. In this time of darkness and pain and strife, we will sing. We will be, we will live, and we will see. And finally, we will help create peace. Congratulations, class of 2020. Please welcome Spencer Schillerstrom, Masters of Music candidate and a member of the class of 2020 on tenor saxophone, and Simon Chacho, Bachelors of Music from the class of 2019 on acoustic bass. They will be performing I'll Be Seeing You by Sammy Fain.
present the candidates for the conferral of degrees. President Esteban, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Music, I respectfully present the candidates and recommend that the announced degrees be conferred upon them. By the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees and the State of Illinois, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. The following candidates have successfully completed the requirements and have been awarded their respective degrees. William Barnard Dylan Barnett, Kelly Bartek, Justin Birchtold, David Betis, Abby Black, Pentelis Bolaricus, Alicia Boop, Zane Boothby, Anna Boulos, Justin Brown Nara, Jesse Brewer, Maria Carolina Campos, Justina Chu, Julia Clark, Catherine Casenza, Andrew Curry, Dominic D'Agostino, Emily De Palma, Alejandro Durgal, Connor Druid, Christy Duffer, Anna Duran Sid Del Prado, Andrew Aguizio, Devin Fanslow, Selena Farmer, Eliza Fisher, Lauren Florek, Michael Fuentes, Mark Hale, Taylor Hampton, Shayla Haney, Patrick Hartson, Neil Hemphill, Allison Hipsley, Rebecca Hagel, Jordan Hiley, Eric Hewels, Daniel Arani, Liam Jackson, Radka Kasperkova, Charles K. Andrea Kennard. William Kadera. Diana Kim. Jungmin Kim. 
Sandy Kinsley, Harrison Klein, Jennifer Klimek, Valerie Kolb, Isabella Kruger Seiler, Alexander Krusel, Zhong Li, Fang Yu Lin, Yuan Ru Liu, Matthew Loeb, Francisco Edmundo Lopez Malaspin Jr. Yuxin Lu. Caitlin Mason. Haley Menkes. Julian Merluzzi. Julia Miller. Morgan Mitchell. Alexander Murphy. Daniel O'Hearn. Otazaki Ali Rodriguez. Georgia Pappas. Stephanie Popic. Catherine Rainey. Trent Ransom. John Rogler. Eamon Sahelio. Erica Sassman. Spencer Schillerstrom. Michael Schober. Aditya Sharma. Rachel Singh. Isabella Stolenmeyer. Brent Taggart. Mia Tamburino. George Tantchev. Michael Velasquez. Serena Volts. David Wagner. Grace Walker. Martin Wells. Margaret Wenzel. Brendan Whalen. Kevin Weedle. Lindsay Wiley. Molly Wilson. Freya Zacherson. Members of the Vincentian community and the clergy, trustees, life trustees, faculty, administration, staff, and honored guests. I'm Gabriel Esteban, president of DePaul University. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the DePaul University class of 2020. Your presence, even in this online space, means everything to us. This was not the year or the commencement ceremony anyone expected, and I am inspired by the tenacity and drive the class of 2020 has demonstrated throughout this time. I am also extremely grateful to all the faculty and staff who made the swift transition to remote learning, as well as the many people who made today's com online commencement ceremony possible. I especially would like to recognize the members of the DePaul community who continued to report to campus throughout the spring quarter. DePaul University, class of 2020. The world is a scary place right now. Graduating from college always comes with a degree of uncertainty. Is this the right job for me? Am I choosing the right path? Will I 
achieve my dreams. I know all your questions are magnified right now, and it's okay to feel scared. Now, more than ever, the world needs DePaul graduates. There are more than 6,000 students in the class of 2020, and the world needs every single one of you. We need entrepreneurs, economists, and hospitality leaders, journalists, filmmakers, computer scientists and game designers, teachers, counselors, writers, artists, diplomats, and historians, nurses, psychologists, scientists and mathematicians, musicians, and actors. The world needs DePaul graduates because you know what it takes to succeed. You know how to roll up your sleeves and do whatever it takes to get the job done. You understand the importance of giving back. And you have the courage to ask, what must be done? At DePaul, our Catholic Vincentian mission to serve the public good is at the heart of everything we do. We have taught you to fight for social justice, help those most in need, listen, and be kind. Please keep our Vincentian values close to your heart. Be mindful of the responsibility that comes with a DePaul diploma. The diploma that bears the name of St. Vincent de Paul. DePaul University, class of 2020, you are ready to serve a changing world. Transformed by your DePaul education, grounded in mission, make us proud. The last step in your journey at DePaul is to be inducted into the alumni community. It is my distinct honor to introduce our special alumni guest, Joe Keery, who graduated from the theater school in 2014 and now plays Steve Harrington on the hit Netflix series, Stranger Things. DePaul has always been proud to call Joe one of our own. And my wife and I are big fans of his work. We're very grateful he could join us today to celebrate the class of 2020. Please welcome Joe Keery. Hi, everybody. My name is Joe Keery. I'm an alumni at DePaul University, class of 2014 uh, from the theater school, and I'm honored to be this year's alumni inductor. Uh, and to welcome the class of 2020 into the Alumni Association. So congratulations, class of 2020. Um, when I think about my time at DePaul, I think about uh, all the hard work. Uh, I mean, DePaul really conditions their students to work. If you ask any of the students at the theater school, they, they're definitely working very hard. Um, it really conditioned me to fill my days doing the thing that I love to do and, and, then, and then work towards goals that I really set for myself. So now, uh, more than ever as graduates and kind of given the current state of the world, I think it's, I think it's really important to keep your foot on the gas and to, and to really go after every single opportunity to, to make your own opportunities. To, uh, you know, if you work hard at something that you love to do and you can make a living doing it, then you won't have to work a day in your life. That's always been my mentality and I feel so lucky to be able to do the work that I'm able to do. Um, and it wouldn't have been possible truly without DePaul. I look back on my time there so fondly, all the friends that I've made, all, all the experiences that I had, um, but truly now the real fun begins because you get to take everything that you've learned and everything that you've worked towards at DePaul and, and put it to use. And uh, now you can start this new chapter in your life and uh, always look back fondly at your time at DePaul. So, Congratulations again, and uh, now to induct the class of 2020. 
Inscribed upon this scroll are the names of the members of DePaul University's 121st graduating class, the class of 2020. We accept these graduates into the DePaul University Alumni Association. Members of the 121st graduating class, we welcome you to the next step in your lifelong connection with DePaul as students of yesterday, graduates today, and alumni forever. You are now part of an even larger DePaul community of over 190,000 alumni living around the world. The continued vitality of DePaul University depends upon each of us as alumni and our pledge of commitment and service to the university. We invite you to accept membership by moving your tassel from the right to the left as a symbolic gesture of your transformation from a student of DePaul University to a lifelong learner and citizen of the world. Graduates, please move your tassels. You should really do it. And congratulations to the class of 2020.